You are listening to BeExposedRadio.com. Hello, 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 hello out there in radio land and welcome to the Artist Exchange Radio Show on BeExposedRadio.com. This is Ama, co-host for the show. We have Nate, the host in the building. We are joined... <laughs> We are joined by a couple of uh, a couple of guests who will introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Tierra Strickland, one of the actors at uh, Ballin' the Jack. Yes, and I'm Tevin Brown, another one of the actors. Uh, she does a lot of the acting. I do a lot of the singing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't do well with. Uh, Costumes and stuff. Right? Okay. I'll sing a song for you. That's that's oh, what you I do. Sing a song for us? Okay. Don't oh wait, I was saying, you know, hypothetically, oh, what I do. No, you already <laughs> put it out there now. Gotcha, mm-hmm. Gucci baby. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'll let you catch your breath. Okay. Get your nerves together. Mm-hmm. And we'll get you like second segment or so. There we go. There we there go. There we go. So how you been doing, Miss Tierra? Ooh, I've been living, honey. You've been, been living. living. Mm-hmm. She is such an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Coppin State University. Yes, yes. State. Morgan's been trying to take us over the last couple of weeks. But, you uh, can't be mad when you show me love. Thank you. Thank you. You can't be mad when you show your love. So how's it been going, Miss Actress? <laughs> it's been going well. It's been going well. Got to keep busy. Got to keep busy. Got to keep busy. Got to keep busy. What so, you been mm-hmm. up to? This working, this working, tired of being grown, oh. tired of paying bills Amen. as a grown person. Mm-hmm. It's different paying the bills. Adulting is so hard. Right. Because <laughs> people look at you strange yes. when you don't feel like paying your bills. Right. Like, I don't it's not to. just, you just childish. <laughs> <laughs> you really is that what I am? <laughs> right. I thought I was just fed up with this BS <laughs> called life. <laughs> you. So I actually know Tierra. She's a ur- fellow urban art and production major alum. I'm sorry. You got to mm-hmm. give her her props. Right. She walked across Thank the you. stage. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Good, um, good for you. Much. Thank you very much. She was actually there towards my uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> exodus. My exodus. <laughs> <laughs> she was coming in the building. Um, a fellow uh, arena player, also. Are you an arena player? Or is yes. First? yes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I did. I think I did read that. So you all went through um, the youth theater. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, w- I wanted to do that. Um, actually, Winona Rock was my fourth grade teacher, and she was like, okay. "You need to come on around. You need to come on around." I was like, I ah, know my after school time is for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really do the things like that. I really want to go home and watch TV. Uh-huh. So I really regret not doing it because she kept telling me all oh, throughout elementary school, "Come on, come on." I was like, "Nah." And then I actually saw her in the show maybe right after I finished. Um, uh, elementary school and it was really good and I was like man I should have came, came around it was right came around the corner on. <laughs> so tell me what you're doing lately what's been going on with you lately what's well other than ball in the jack you know like I said earlier I gotta stay busy I've been doing a lot of auditions and everything waiting on that that big good one. one that big, good one yeah that big one hopefully fingers crossed it comes up did you audition down for Marley no, and mm-hmm. I just heard about that not too long ago. Like, yeah. I, I, oof. Yeah, this is the second to last weekend. Mm-hmm. Next yeah. weekend's the last wanna, weekend. Have you, any of you seen that. it yet? You don't want to no, see that. I'm going to go see it with my grandmother. She, <laughs> oh, she's oh, like, oh, I want to go see Mr. Motley. No. It's that's really not the right one, but okay. we gonna go. <laughs> well, she might be tricked. You, she might be tricked until he take the wig off. She might <laughs> hey, actually boy. be tricked. Oh. He, he might. We've been saying for a long time that might be one of his children. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to his dad, or but uh, that might be one of you know he was spreading around in the UK, the London, yes, he did. Europe area yeah, he as did. much as he could, but giving off as much love as he can in every form he could. Amen. Mm-hmm. So tell me uh, your roles and um, actually the cast. Or I guess they will be trickling in soon. Your roles in Ball and Jack is actually original piece that Troy kind of put together. Yeah, well, I guess I'll start. Um, so this is a young man, uh, Tevin. Yes, she's gonna me. be singing us a song soon. So mm-hmm. this, this is right, about I think he got away with that. <laughs> uh-uh. I know. I mean, it's not really. Um, it's not a traditional play in the sense that like she's. I don't know. Like. Mammy number five. Uh, I'm just a person. It's like we. Um, it's a Troy Burton production. Exactly. You never know what's gonna mm-hmm. happen. Never. Exactly. So we're kind of bouncing it around. Um, but the point of the show is like we're trying to highlight um, that period of time from like when blues started mm-hmm. at like 1890s um, 
like post slavery era up into well through the Harlem Renaissance and then mm-hmm. into the jazz era and swinging and stuff like that. So we're trying to just um, focus on that mm-hmm. and bring um, bring to light some of the positive things that Black people. Uh, came out with, came out of that struggle with. In spite of the negative things that happened. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Or the what stigmas that was put on them. Exactly. Right, there right. we go. So tell me a little bit about you, uh, young man. Um, well, I'm You making sorry. them millions yet? <laughs> nah, man, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to make them thousands. A couple dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, um, right. I mean, I'm 23. I'm like the little 23? baby. 23? Yeah, I'm the baby of the group. Oh, apparently. wow. Uh, but I mean, I, uh, it's cool though. People say I, I seem older. You just have a mature air about yourself. Mm-hmm. I, think I it's, know yeah, she's a baby. Sure it's hair the gray hair too, yourself, yeah. right? I think it's that. The gray hair. It throws it away. Mm. I, I had gray hair since hair I was about yourself, yeah. oh, Okay, okay. Yeah. He grew, he's a grown he's man, grown. definitely. Right? <laughs> he's right. a grown like man. It's not trendy. <laughs> he's a grown man. I'm going in the opposite direction. Right. Getting younger. So how was your? I know you started in a youth theater. Was that something that you wanted to do or? Like mother was like, uh, you bring your hands now. <laughs> I mean, it actually. I mean, I wanted to play sports. Like when I was a kid, it's like mm-hmm. every boy, you know, I wanted to go play baseball or something. And then uh, for fifth grade, they took us to the arena players to like see this show. I'll never forget it too. It's called The Dark Before Dawn. Mm-hmm. And I went to see that show, and I was sitting next to this dude, and he wouldn't. He wasn't really about it. He was just like in La La Land. But I was like, yo, this is awesome. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I want to do it. And I went home and like begged my mom. And mm. luckily, uh, she knew uh, Miss Catherine Orange, who's over the arena players. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Right. So, <laughs> you know, they got together and got me in there. And I was just really thankful. I'm, I'm glad. It was fun. So you went the route of music, um, singing vocally instead yeah. of acting? Right, yeah. Mostly because, so, um, I mean, I enjoyed it more. And then, um, like, being at the arena players, you'll notice real quickly that, like, people aren't going to... Um, Sugarcoat anything for you, like you're not gonna tell you that you're good. <laughs> you said Miss Orange was your teacher. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah it's yeah. what I'm saying. So it's, it's like you know they they not gonna put you on stage and you like are a terrible dancer and not gonna mm-hmm. be like, oh yeah, go ahead, baby, you do it. No, no. Uh-uh. you ain't, you ain't that up ain't there. the place for you. Uh-uh. <laughs> exactly. Uh-uh. So I've I, told quite a few parents if your child is not strong enough, that is not the place for you to send your child. Yeah, and exactly. not to say that they are necessarily mean or. But, but they, they're honest. They they're demand, really honest. right? They're they really demand. Honest mm-hmm. down there and really Build honest. Professionals. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So many people have started out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what have you done since uh, leaving youth theater? Well, since then, um, I went to college at Berkeley College of Music up in Boston. Oh, I got this and little Berkeley. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Little Berkeley. Berkeley. You know. Berkeley. Mm-hmm. That's a little Berkeley. <laughs> that, was, that was fun though. Being up there. Boston is cold. The, it is so cold, man. It's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> it's not even fun. Like. I'm talking like negative degrees, like mm. negative ten. Mm. You know, I lived in Winchester. Okay. As a child. Um, yeah. So the winters they be having out here mm-hmm. ain't nothing. That's what I'm saying. I laugh at people. No. They're like, "Oh my God, it's cold. It's forty degrees." Like, right. A here. little ice on the streets, schools to close. Like try exactly. like ten feet of snow. No. Mm-hmm. Like right. on a on a Tuesday, just because. Just and they give right. you a two hour delay. Like you'll make it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what? Exactly. Oh. exactly. It's crazy. <laughs> just try. Just try. Just think a little bit. You can get there. So, Dorn Berkeley, how did you enjoy that experience? It was fun, man. I got to, like, got to meet a lot of people. I guess the highlight of it was um, I got to play Marvin Gaye, which was weird because I'm light-skinned. But, like, they casted me as Marvin Gaye. You were the only guy there, though, right? I mean, hey, it worked. Yeah. Because, I mean, I just love Motown music. I think that's why they gave me the gave me the thing and um i was in fact before i came in here was singing i uh, heard it through the grapevine because they got go. the grapevine show going on that's one of my faves man mm-hmm. that's it yeah. so how did you like that was your first role um that was my first outside acting of, role yeah. at berkeley yeah right it's just um you know outside of doing stuff in high school and it was fun i got to meet valerie simpson and she like came in and oh, sang a song oh. with us so it was fun so that means you can sing like you're not yeah i mean i'm not that a bad. little shuffling around the house you know <laughs> Lord, right. you can yeah, actually you know. do this. Okay, yeah, then. Because he's not like a chump singer. You got to be able yeah, to. Try. <laughs> I try. He's so modest. He's so modest. No, like, I didn't yeah, but she Listen, the minute he said he went song. to Berkeley, right. like, obviously. But he said it like, oh, I just went down the street for a second. I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I graduated, <laughs> too. That's right. That was right. important. Alumni. That's important. That's that that means you can read and write. You know, know a little bit. So tell me a little bit about your role in the play. Mm-hmm. Like well, what, what I do, do um, like 
there's there's a scene. I guess I'm not gonna go too far into it, but because um, they got paid for the tickets, right? You mm-hmm. got paid for the tickets. So www.arenaplayersinc.com. Exactly. Um, yeah, go to tickets, buy that ticket. Exactly. There we go. But um, <laughs> there's one thing. There's like a big uh, scene that ends the first act. is a riot, mm-hmm. and ironically, we were like we had planned to do a riot, and then the week we were gonna start working on the riot, we had a riot in oh, Baltimore. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it was like, oh great, now we have motivation. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know, I play um, just like a looting dude that just run around stealing mm-hmm. stuff and acting crazy, and um, that's one role. And then I like you bounce back and forth. Like I was saying, like it's not really a traditional mm-hmm. thing. So like I do that. Um, there's an auction, and I'm playing like uh, like a white guy who's okay. looking to. It's not a light skin joke. Mm-hmm. No, no, straight up like like a white person. <laughs> <laughs> so like you know that's one of the roles. And then the second act. Um, as you'll see, it's going to be like it's basically a musical. Mm-hmm. So you know, I sing a couple songs. I sing a duet actually with Tierra. With Tierra, you uh-huh. can't. So you're not nervous. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, she's what? she's dope though. She's dope. It's fun. What? You're nervous. It's mad nostalgic because you know we used to. We went she's back. not modest at all. I'm gonna just let you know. This. <laughs> I know. She has no modest. Don't her ask her to sing. You wanted to put her in the other room. Man. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I did. I went straight <laughs> over there because I already know better. Maybe a body there love, there but the roommate was so big. The when you are an so actor, big. when you are a rapper, you cannot. Mm-hmm. No, I am that. Sh- yeah. I am that yes. nigga. That's me. Yeah, exactly. that's yeah. me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, what? What did? Why did you decide to come back to do this? I mean, other than Troy, you never say no to Troy. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> well, I mean, um, I think something about the Playhouse, especially if you were in a youth theater, is like um, you find yourself coming back. Like you'll come back to see shows, you mm-hmm. come back to support the other kids who are doing the youth theater right now. And uh, the stage manager Ashley Bruce, she reached out to mad people on Facebook and was like, you know, Troy Burton just wrote a new show. Do you want to be in it? And I'm like, absolutely, I want to be right. in it. Cause that's that's dope. I'm just getting back in town not that long ago, so like I was trying to find, you know, where the art is, where people are still doing stuff. You're going and this all over the world and stuff. You had to come back. Yeah, mm-hmm. apparently I'm missing international now. Oh I wow! Know. I went. Um, you got a couple stamps on that. Uh, I did. I did. Good sport. for you. Yes. Where'd you go? I went to Japan. Um, this is all like in 2015. I went to Japan. And then oh, I went this to. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's so long ago. I'm trying to it, like. I'm um, starting Japan to think who is the modest one in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not y'all. Y'all asking me so. Yes. <laughs> Japan. The, where um, else? Then the Bahamas uh-huh. was fun. Little vacation. Yeah, that was like a vacation. Got a little right. tan, right? Because okay. yeah. you don't, really don't work in Bahamas. No, nah. even if you're working. Exactly. <laughs> you got a little tan. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to Canada the next week. Nice. Yeah, so that'll be fun. How long were you in Japan? I'm not missing no shows, though. It'll be fun. Huh? How long were you in Japan? Uh, four days, which was crazy. It was like a 13-hour flight, a 14-hour flight. For four days. And I was just sitting there. It's like, it's a, it's like you spent almost more time getting to Japan, to Japan than we than did. actually stayed actually. in Japan. Yeah. yeah. So will we get a, a album release soon, or are, are you uh, in for that? For me, hopefully. I- so really? Okay. Hopefully soon. I mean, I was going to, and I mean, I was starting to work on music, and then um, this show came. Mm-hmm. So probably in the fall now, you'll hear some music from me. So what genre would you put yourself in if you um, if you had to? if you want to put a label on it? Right. If I had to put a label on it, like I'm, as I was saying, like I'm kind of old school, I like Motown. I like a lot of funk, like you know, funkadelic type stuff. So okay. I'll, it'll probably mm-hmm. be mm-hmm. like a. Um, like a funk soul sort of thing. A little fusion. Going on. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like Bruno nice. Mars, but um, more hip hop. Oh, okay. So you we know. had to hear that one of them songs mm. lately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. No, I'm voice. very excited about this. I like yeah, all of those work. things. Because we're brutally honest here at the Artist Exchange. We'll let you know. Mm. Oh, man. You thought Miss Orange was honest. <laughs> <laughs> we give it to you. So, what have you been doing since Coppin State? What What is. Ooh. What has Coppin been able to help you with? Well, no, I'm not even going to ask that question. We <laughs> went with that type of truth <laughs> out, out loud when you're airing a yes. business in front of company. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but what have you been trying to... I know you've been auditioning more, and mm-hmm. have you been going to New York auditions oh, more? Oh, yes. Or? I've been doing a lot of different auditions. Uh, just trying to, like I said before, just trying to get that that one good one or the any good one. It doesn't have to be right. the one just yet. But uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of auditioning right now. I'm just working downtown 
uh, not too far from here, Spirit of Baltimore. Okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. on a cruise ship, Consistency. y'all. Consistency. Consistency. Hey, I like that. Mm-hmm. So, have you thought about making that move? Because they have a Spirit of Baltimore or a Spirit Cruise Line in, in New York. New York. Mm-hmm. I thought about it. I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm going to try to get this money up a little bit before I make that move up right. there because it's a little bit more expensive to yes, live it is. up right. in New York. Sorry, that was just a snippet of the show, but you can check out the whole entire show. Every Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 12 noon right here on BeExposedRadio.com.